This is a Disneyland original little long playing record, and I am your story reader. I am going to begin now to read the story of Davy Crockett. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when Tinkerbell rings her little bells like this. Let's begin now. Davy Crockett was one of the best frontier scouts this country ever had. Many years ago, he and his friend, Georgie Russell, came from the mountains of Tennessee to scout for General Andy Jackson during the Creek Indian War. The Creek Indians were camped somewhere across the river. General Jackson wanted Davy to find out where they were and what they were planning to do. He sent the Major and some soldiers along. Davy didn't want company. He and Georgie could do a better tracking job by themselves. They all crossed the river and quietly made their way through the brush. It was slow work, but it was the best way to get close to the Indian camp without being seen. The Major got tired of crawling in the brush. When he came to a wide trail, he wanted to take it. Davy told him it was risky. They might be discovered. The Major decided to use the trail anyway. A little later, Davy and Georgie heard war drums. They followed the sound and found the creek camp. The Indians were getting ready to go on the war path. Let's go back and find the Major, said Davy. They backtracked through the brush and heard shots. The Major was in trouble. He had blundered into a group of Indians on their way to join Chief Redstick. He and his men were surrounded. We'll have to scare them off, said Davy. He had a trick in mind. He walked some distance away from Georgie. Company A, charge from the rear, he shouted. Company B, advance, yelled Georgie, far away. The trick worked. The Indians thought the whole regiment had come to the Major's aid. They retreated in confusion. Davy and Georgie stepped out from the bushes. Where are the others? asked the Major. Well, said Georgie, two were enough. Davy and Georgie went back to the General and told him the Indians were preparing to attack. Following Davy's lead, the General and the regiment crossed the river and surrounded the camp. If they could capture the tribal leaders, the Indians would have to listen to reason and a treaty might be arranged. Davy, Georgie and some volunteers stole into the camp. They captured all the leaders except Chief Redstick. Before they could catch him, two Creek warriors jumped Georgie. Davy took care of one of them while Georgie fought the other. Then Davy saw Redstick getting away and went after him. Wait, I want to talk to you, he said. Redstick wasn't about to talk to anyone. He gave Davy a clout on the head and escaped through the Major's lines. The Major and his men were busy reloading their guns and couldn't stop him. General Jackson knew there could be no treaty made without Chief Redstick. He told the Major to take his men and go after him. Davy was to be the guide. The Major and I don't quite agree on how to hunt Indians, said Davy. I don't want any arguments, replied the General, and that was that. They went south, from the Smoky Mountains into Mississippi Territory and through the swamps, getting close to Red Stick but never quite catching up with him. Weeks passed. The Major and his men got sick. Finally, the Major decided to go back while his men were still able to march. Davy and Georgie went on alone. They picked up a trail, a trail going in two directions at once. They separated. Then Georgie saw some fresh tracks, whistled to warn Davy, and was hit from behind. When he came to, he was tied to a stake, with Red Stick's warriors piling wood for a bonfire. Suddenly, Davy stepped out of the brush. He challenged Red Stick to a fight. 
Redstick agreed and picked tomahawks for weapons. Davy seemed awkward with the tomahawk in his hands. Georgie was afraid to look and closed his eyes. When he opened them, Davy had disarmed Redstick and had him against a tree. Turn my friend loose and go home, he said. Sign the treaty and I promise you the government will let you keep your land. Redstick knew that Davy Crockett was a man of his word. He made peace. Davy and Georgie went home. Davy kept his promise. All his life he did everything he could to help the Indians.